And we are live. Thank you so much, listeners, for listening to the All Things Comedy Podcast. Hosted by yours truly, Stephen G. We are back live right now in the Slapstick Studios. And I have with me comedian Silas, my main man. How you doing? What up, what up? I just want to let everybody know I am no longer from Columbus because all these little tiffs and beefs. I'm residing in Pickerington, Ohio from now on. I know that's right. I'm yeah. Pataskala. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, I know what you're saying about all the little coochie booty stuff going on uh, uh also in the studio <laughs> in the studio is my girl from springfield ohio yvette williams she is here with us what's up hey yvette? hey you doing pretty good how you doing Steven? all right Silence. good 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 Everybody. good can't wait to hear your new concepts when you call me uh later <laughs> tomorrow can't wait to hear those new concepts girl i uh, know you're my mentor you know it brother. you got to get them down so we could go I over will. Them. you know what i'm saying so how you guys been doing everything good pretty good yeah yep. great 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 um uh, yeah. You've been following the beef with the comics and everything? <laughs> I mean, everybody yes. been following. I mean, the national beef, not this local the shit. national, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, I'm talking yeah. about the, the national, like, oh, yeah. Cat Williams airing yeah. people out and Corey Holcomb <laughs> saying that he stole one of my jokes on that, national on his set. Oh, man, Corey, shout out to you, brother. I love you, bro, oh, for doing yeah. that because you didn't have to do that. No. He did not have to do that. He couldn't sleep at night. I think it, it was worried Now I need bit. Cedric to be up at night <laughs> and go ahead and tell the truth about the joke. He stole the mind. I know, you know right? <laughs> the I know that one wedding, too. The ghetto wedding joke. Like, come on, Cedric. Everybody mm -hmm. know that's mine, man. Come on. Everybody around here anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean. Yep. What if Cedric hit you up and was like, I got you. I'm just going to put you on the road. Let me that, open that, up. That that's all I need. Okay. okay. Let me open up. That's all I need. That, that'll be dope, though. That'll be dope. Yeah. Let me do about yeah. three or four shows. Then I'll guarantee you, I'll take over support. from there. He can still <laughs> He can steal him after that. I'll write more. I'll write, I'm a writer, not a biter. I've been a writer <laughs> from day one. Yeah. When I first got on stage, I'll tell you what. My first time ever on stage, I did 15 minutes. I 15, 20. I, I did like 15, 20 that. minutes. Open mic. Killed. Comedy stop. Killed him. Was it comedy stop? Killed him. I just went up there and let him have yep. it. Yep. I had stuff ready to mm -hmm. go and everything. You know what I mean? Yes. I had not mm -hmm. been working on stuff, but I had been working on stuff in my head and yep. not committed it to the pad yet. Mm -hmm. But it was, I had committed it to memory, you know, and mm -hmm. so I went out there winging away and, yeah, man. Naturally. And, and and the owner walked up to me and said, great set. How long have you been, been doing stand-up? And I lied to him. I said about a year, two years, around Cincinnati mm -hmm. and Dayton and stuff. <laughs> he said, you want to host a professional show for me this weekend? I was like, sure, I could do that. So I was a paid comic my second time ever on stage. I mean, I yep. don't know how much more lucky you could get than that. Yeah, that's, but that's dope. You, I mean, oh, my God, I was a paid comic my second time. When I think about that, mm -hmm. and then four years later, I was on National, well, three years. Actually, I was on Comic View Coast to Coast, where they came out to the clubs and they filmed and they took it back to L.A. and they showed it. So I was on there first in 95. And then in 96, I flew out and did the show live. So, man, it was early success for me, man. Young comics, you got, it doesn't happen like that for everybody. So you got to plug away. Like Silas was saying, he's getting a little, you know, because you will. Yeah. Uh, You're like, oh, man, I don't know about this comedy stuff because you. It isn't for everybody. It isn't for everybody. Mm -hmm. it, it, it'll sour on You'll you. Know. You got to sweeten it back up because it'll sour. <laughs> and you got to be the one to bring the sweetness right. back. Right. Yep. You know. And all oh, these yeah. little clicks and stuff, this is an individual profession. Yes. You got to be on stage by yourself. Yes. So all they, them clicking up and everything, y'all not going to make each other funny. <laughs> they could if they work on each other. If they jokes. work on each other. Yeah, if but they it sounds like together, a bunch of stuff going on if they with some of these together. comics. All right. This is, this is kind of, what if they don't know how to write? There you go. That's a lot of them's problem. They don't so, know how to write a joke. No. They have no idea where to start. They know how to copy off a of man. They can so. copy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll do they some internet do jokes. I'm like, oh, my that. God. When I hear that, I'm like. What What do you do when you see somebody doing that? When you see somebody doing a meme you just read? Like, I would never. Um, well, I'm not a promoter, but if somebody called me, like, if you know, I would never uh, uh, suggest that they would, you know, call them or pick them or book them. I would right. never. I would never. You know, I would <laughs> never do it. I would never do it because you phony. You being mm -hmm. phony, you're not being real out here, you know. And we're trying to keep it 100. So, first Some question. Help. Now, you know I ask questions. You know what I'm saying? We're just not, not going to uh, 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 ramble all day. I'm asking questions pertaining to comedy, of course. 
and we're going to discuss these questions, you know, as thoroughly as possible. So the young people that's just starting doing comedy and just starting doing stand up around the country can have a little more insight into what they're getting into. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to explain some of these questions. Yvette, since you're the lady. Yes. We're going to uh, start off with you. Okay. I feel now, like a test. But, I feel like we're taking SAT people, up in both here. Both people about, you know, <laughs> going to answer the question. Silas, you'll be answering it as well. So it'll be the same question. So um, what is the best way to advertise a show, seeing that radio is playing out? The best way to advertise a show is social media. For real. I mean, the platforms that's out here today, you, you can't afford not to do it. Get a good flyer, put it on your Facebook, your Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Get that out there and just send it to everybody. Does it's flyers people... still work hand to hand? Does that well? It, still... It's a little harder to do it that way, but I know people still old school with it. But yeah. I have seen people have a flyer, and then you could post that on your Facebook, and then people will respond to that and see the time. As long as you have the time, date, advertise of where it is, and the time and date should stand out and, and yes. uh, uh, and way more than the comics uh, pictures. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. They should have to look hard for the comics pictures, I know. but that time and date should be like, blah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know. You know. You know. The Only 30 friend. years. You know what I mean? Uh, Silas, same question. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree with mm -hmm. social media. Uh, what Yvette said, social media definitely, but I feel like you can use social media to your advantage. You could do skits. Mm -hmm. including your show right to where this is what's coming this is what we're going to do mm -hmm. um yep. you know that's definitely a good marketing tool because people will see that and say oh that's funny i may have to go check them out so i mean it just you could definitely use social media yeah. right right mm -hmm. and i remember in the yeah. day radio was costing like four or five thousand Mm. Um, you know what I mean mm. and so radio is not getting the money they used to get off of advertising yeah. anymore yeah. and it it's a shame it's just a shift though you know, no one listens to radio anymore. They don't. They're on their phone. It's podcast. Yeah. Everybody's podcast, on their phone man. now. Podcast. Yeah. Like what we're doing right now. Is yeah. Every, this is, it's taking yes. over. Yes. It's the new wave. It yes. is. I people feel sorry for disc jockeys. Oh, yeah. I feel sorry for radio people. I yeah. really, really do because podcasts are taking over. No one's listening to the radio anymore. Mm -hmm. That used to be the thing. That, Kirk Bishop, all those people, radio people. Man, oh, man. <laughs> Goodness. Funny. All right. Uh. Silas, did you have written material your first time on stage? Yes. You did? Yes. You were ready to go? I thought I was ready. You thought go. you were ready, but you did have some I, written I material. I had written material, and, you know, you kind of clinch up a little bit trying to do it because you don't do it how you practice it when you go on stage. Right. Right. Well, but, the cadence and, count and, and the, uh, the laughter and the, the, the timing's not right, there yet. Right. But I did make it through most of my written material the first time I... I did comedy. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. What about you, Yvette? No, I did not have written material. You just went up and, I, and I, won. I didn't know anything about it. I just knew I needed to get up. All I had, remember, I don't even know if you remember. Yeah, because when I started out, you it was at this little uh, African spot called Salam or something. And all yeah, I had I was, was a host. freaking... Uh, yeah. Let's see. All I had was... Well, that wasn't the first. That was like the second stop I made. But the first one, I, I did not have material. And I got up there and winged it on this... Sammy Davis Jr. impression. That's all I had. Right. That, that was my whole set. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> yeah. How did it go? Shout out it? to Oh, I got to have like the and crooked eye and everything. I was singing that one of my old <laughs> songs. And everybody would request it. And I'll get up there and do it. But then I just started doing material and doing my jokes. Yeah, she, and then... she did pretty good, though. She yeah. She did pretty good. Uh, I'm telling you, he's my mentor. I've known him for a long time. And, a and long he's time. gone over everything. He, he has brought up some comics. and He's being modest about it, but... He has brought up comics. I'm, I remember Keith Bender. Well, he's still doing comedy, but he's like out on doing cruise ships and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't for Steven. He wouldn't. He would not be there. And Steve and everybody knows it. You know, and Keith knows it because he talks about well, it. Keith acknowledges it. He does. Oh he yeah, does. he acknowledges. We talk about you. Yeah. I ran into him at this Dayton Funny Bone, and we were talking about man, remember Salam, Steven G. Your name always come up regardless if you the know Salam it or not. Salam was so fun. <laughs> It, it was, was like so good much fun. Room and it, it, it was. Practice. It was yeah. the 
best room like to ever. Start, oh, yeah. It was the best room. Ran by ever. some Africans or something. Yeah, right? Tawade. Yeah. D'Amico, all of us. We D'Amico all and yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean Steven's our dude though. I mean, we started there <laughs> and uh, well I was in the game probably I was pretty seasoned Been in it. Yes. by time we did that. So right. they got a lot of professionalism. That's why yeah. the crowds are so good because they got a lot of, and then our headliner was a professional. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then everybody in between wasn't. But yeah. me <laughs> and the headliner. <laughs> you know it was. I mean? We were starting out trying they to get it together. They were just starting out. So, oh, yeah. you know, but I would book a headliner. Scared. I would bring in Spanky Hayes or somebody from Detroit okay. or somebody, okay. somebody, you know. And so yeah. Raymond Jackson, somebody. I would bring somebody yep. down here, you know. And so we, we used to have professional a professional shows together, too. Oh, you man. Know? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. We, I just got to learn to keep, well, I shouldn't say too much, but, you know, I remember even doing Funny Bones and stuff all over. We we did, we traveled, so I've known Steven for a long time, so sitting here doing this, it's like, you know, one of my good friends. You right, know? right. He, this has been We've traveled, forever. we've been on the road together and just and having pick a ball. his brain all the and time. And one time I was all going to time. try to find some weed from my friend in Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, my God, I remember. And we were in Alcatone. Cincinnati one time. <laughs> And event just pulls up on some guys, like four or five random niggas. Just random? Yeah, they might know him. I remember him. that. I said, if you don't keep driving. I actually did pull up. I said, anybody, y'all, my y'all dad, know Alcatone? You know my dad, my y'all dad, know Alcatone? My dad did some goofy shit like that when we was in Texas. That's how green I was. I didn't even know. My, oh, my, my dad and my cousin and was feeding was for like, crack. Oh, my God, what are you doing? And they pulled up on somebody and asked them where the crack at. In the middle of Texas, we didn't even know where we was at. Man. So that I had that same funny. thing happen. I'm a kid in the back, like. We oh, to go to yeah. jail. Yeah, that's bananas. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I'll tell you something that's not stuff. as crazy, but D'Amico oh, and man. I were in uh, Toronto, Canada, and we had did a show in Buffalo, New York the night before, then went to Toronto. So we had smoked up all our weed on the way back oh, from God, Toronto. Oh, we only had a blunt or two. We had smoked that from Toronto to Buffalo. We stopped in Buffalo. And just waited at one of the little corner stores <laughs> to see if a nigga came out with blunts. Hey, the first nigga came out with blunts, we like, my man, my man. Oh, hey, God, so hey we the comedians, man. Oh, hey, man, we need oh, some weed, man. <laughs> and he hooked us up. He hooked us up. Hey, Never forget will. that, brother. Brother, if, that you, if you're so listening, funny. my man from Buffalo, New York, and you gave us a weed, we told you we was the comedians, man, and you took <laughs> us to your house. <laughs> you oh, took us to your God. house and sold us weed. Cause he, we knew funny. to stop him, cause he he had a fist full of, of blunts. You know what I mean? Like he gets yeah. smoke all day. Like he got weed. <laughs> they lucked out. You know out. what I mean? He had a. Fi- I said, "There you go, right there, Domingo. That's the <laughs> one, right there." <laughs> Domingo's like, "My man, hey, my man, oh bro, listen." And Dog he like, funny, "Come on, man. come on." Oh man, that oh was great. God. I've never heard that, that story. Great times. Oh my mm-hmm. god. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, great. Silas, take this one. How have you progressed from when you first started? And what was that journey like? Mm. Okay. Um, I remember when I I know it's first a great started. question. I know it's a great question. Right. And it, it, it's, <laughs> it's a very good question. Because you know how you think you're killing it. Right. Like you might have a good set because you got some laughs. Mm-hmm. And then you'll watch somebody seasoned and, and murder, murder, the, the stage. murder the place. Mm-hmm. And I think that that was like a turning point. When you see somebody really, really do that and it's like, I need to get my jokes together. Yeah, who really where does you it really, right? Really can get to that yeah. point. Yeah. yeah, like you thought you were did pretty good yeah. until this guy yeah. came and ripped the roof off the place. Right, when you mm-hmm. see everybody holding their head and oh, they're just right. laughing and fall, it's like, man, yeah. that's crazy. To see yeah, that. like wow, I got a little. Uh, uh, I got a couple to little laughs ascend in there. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah event. The first stages. Yeah. First started out, uh, and well, how was your progress? When what I, was that journey like? When you first started out, mm-hmm. how have you progressed from when you first started? Oh, I've progressed. Because and what was that journey like for you? It's still going, to right. be honest with you. My yeah. journey's still going out there. Well, of but course, you're still doing stand-up, but I'm talking yes. about the... It's, it's, it's going to where I need to stop being stagnant, though, because I, I will... Love the MC and host, and now I'm getting in the feature. Featuring gig. more, yeah, yeah. They're well, asking me, so I'm like, yeah. yeah let well, me get hosting there. adds to your repertoire and to your right. material, to your time. Mm-hmm, hosting mm-hmm. does all of that for you. Yes, you yes. know what I'm saying. All you have to do is record it 
or remember what you said or have somebody recording it so mm-hmm. you can go study it because you're not going to remember the things you just improvisationally said right. that night. That's true. Hosting. Because you're going to do a lot of ad lib, a lot mm-hmm. of improv. Right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So if you don't get that done, you're not going to remember all of it. No. You'll be at home like, damn, that was I so know. funny. And everybody was laughing. laughing. Yep. I but I cannot remember what I said. Que- right. Quest- question, I do that I, a lot. Just for y'all, y'all the OGs. Mm-hmm. What makes a good host? Stage presence, interacting with the crowd, mm-hmm. um, not always doing material, but kind of like all the time doing out. material. Yeah, yeah. Just, it, 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 and it comes to you because Stephen told me that he said it's gonna come to you It'll and you gonna come out. Right, he, I, he used to tell me that that's all the time. What, and you yourself yeah. will come out. He that's when comedy that. can find themselves the fastest. Yeah, mm-hmm. being a host, you'll mm-hmm. find yours because you're gonna come out. Mm-hmm. For real, because you're not going to go out there. You're not going to be able to, like, say you host a uh, joint every week. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have be able to keep up with the writing that you're going to need. Right. Mm-hmm. So you're going to improv an awful you're lot. You're going to have to. You're going yeah. to have to. And that's when you're going to find yourself as a comic. Because you yeah. will come out. The stuff mm-hmm. that you were just randomly going to just rat off. It, I mean, just that you're thinking, you know, every day just thinking about. Going to come out, and then you're going to start. And then as that happens... They'll start shaping into mm-hmm. jokes mm-hmm. in the joke form mm-hmm. automatically uh, yeah, because you've so been weird. doing it in your mind. So mm-hmm. your mind will just take those words and start shaping it. They'll start coming out your mouth in joke form. Yes. I couldn't believe it when it's happening for me. I was like, oh my God, where does this come from? Yeah, I know. Like, where does this come from? I'm like, we I found know myself. where it comes from. Like, I found myself, <laughs> you know, like, Man but upstairs. every, that's how everybody, every comic can find yourself by mm-hmm. hosting. Hosting. It's the best thing you could do. Get you a host. Mm-hmm. Go get your room. Right. Go get mm-hmm. your room. Yeah. And then you could get booked because you could do tit for tat. Like you come do right. my we'll room. Book. I'll go do mm-hmm. your room. Boom, yep. boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have so, a room. I have a room. Yeah. And I had Steven on my first or second show out there. I had, I said, can you just come down and do it? You know, do headlining. And he came out and I had a feature and then we've been doing it for a year. It's at the spot called um, Strivers in Springfield, Ohio. And they look forward to comedy there because it's once a oh, month. Oh yeah, nice little spot. So vibe. I have a show, yeah, I have a show coming up there in, Jan- not January, I'm sorry, we're in January now, but February 24th. Okay. And I have a show, but um, that's me emceeing. And so comfortable emceeing that now I'm getting into the feature, so I got a show at Wiley's Comedy Club, opening up for J. Anthony Brown. Okay, watch this, out there now. I know, right? This uh, so thank you, watch thank out you. there February now. February the ninth and tenth. So I got a feature. So now I just got to stick to my set. Twenty five mm-hmm. minutes on stage is different right. than emceeing yes. for ten mm-hmm. minutes and you do your thing. Yeah, and you get you're telling the, people to get their yeah, chicken wings and yeah, and drinks just talking and, crazy. Yeah, just saying whatever. Right. Yeah. Now you got to really be on it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because if you impress him, he might take you with him. You know, That's what I'm saying. What Let I you do some. Afford. You know. I heard uh, I'm he telling you. I, I, I tell you. I hope. A long time nice. ago, I impressed Tony <laughs> Roberts. He was like, you coming with me, dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, that's oh, like, that's my man. Steve is crazy. My man. man. And I've seen people hold their head. I'll never forget. I remember we was in Columbus, Funny Bone. Steven was doing his act, and the lady was holding her head so hard. She couldn't. It was like, stop. Please shut up. Quit talking. Quit mm-hmm. saying so. Because he was that lady. They were all hurting. And, and when know, I see people holding and and tough yeah, dudes that's dope when you can holding you know their bellies trying like to that? get tickled. Because you know when no one knows it's you, fun. They, they you know how black crowds are. They're gonna half yep. clap. No, we ain't never seen him. Come oh, on, you yeah. better be yeah. funny too. Yeah, you and have all to of be. that. Yeah. Like, oh really? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna start trying to break ribs. Then I'm trying to make you throw up and pee at the same time. Then <laughs> <laughs> I know. So right? that's how that's how I started writing. Like, yeah. okay, I'm going for the juggler. I'm going yeah. for the juggler. And that's right. when I start writing my jokes with four or five punchlines. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. the funniest and one, tag, tag, I will tag, leave tag, at tag. the end, and the, the other ones I will put into that segue. And so I'm, I thought oh, the joke is just, I, stare, I ain't even got to the punchline, and they're crying. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to make you pee now. So you go mm-hmm. ap- act all objectively to me like, who is that? And I've never saw him, and he oh, better yeah. be funny. And you know how we are. Mm-hmm. Now, a white crowd would be like, all right, the comedian, yeah, they, all right, let's go. Yes, they're yes. waiting on yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you disappoint him, that'll be later. You're like, wow, he was a disappointment. Right. But not right out the gate. Right. 
Like, oh, he better be funny. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. All black people act like we celebrities and shit. Right. You know, like we Well, they big... funny too. That's why that, everybody That's funny. why. Because all black yeah. people's funny. Yeah. That's, that's right. why. They're not doing stand up, but they funny. They're all funny. Right. Yeah. They funny. They all kill at the uh, family reunion, the picnic, <laughs> sitting around the smoking weed, table. barbershop. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Right. I was yeah. in the barbershop one time. My bullshit, you not. I'm in the barbershop at Frank's. Frank's place, Mount Vernon Avenue. I've never, I, Frank, I hope you're still alive because I don't want to, you know, say, but Frank, he was an older guy. Frank, and he Frank ran his barbershop like, you know, he wanted to be the only one cracker joke. So everybody, so my man and them knew I was a real stand up comic. So mm -hmm. I'm in there just, you know, and then my man, boom, 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 I've dropped, but they don't know I'm practicing on them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so my, my, my niggas know, you know, they know I'm practicing. So I got the whole barbershop rolling. Mm -hmm. My man gonna say, "Nah, man, I'm the only one crack jokes in here." <laughs> he gonna hate on you. That's hilarious. He was like hating on me. On the baller, you own the barbershop. All right. And you hating, man? Come on, Frank. <laughs> Frank. That's, That's funny. funny. He said, "I'm gonna be the funniest." Yeah, anyway. I'm the funniest one. I'm the one to do funny. that around right in here. Oh, oh wow. Man. Yeah, I want to get my writing style like what you said, where it's just yeah. bam, 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 bam. Beginning, tried, middle, end. To, uh, beginning, middle, end, and and yep. then and write with beginning, many punchlines, and and that's how I write. I can give you the formula all day long. It's like Cat mm -hmm. Williams said, they can give you the formula to make water, but you can't do it. I can give, mm -hmm. I can give a hundred comedians this formula of how to write, mm -hmm. and only ten of them gonna really be able to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. And be and write you, with good punchlines right. and all of that that. The you're rest, right, the, right. the rest, not gonna be able to do it. You're right. All right, let's keep moving. Well, yeah. uh, Yvette. Yes. Is there any crowd that scares you? No. No not crowd right at now. all. Not no. old people. Not young. Not children. I've done not them all. <laughs> you know, not even no, really kids. No, kids. no, because um, I I used to get nervous like if it was foreign to me because I remember I did this biker bar. It was nothing but a bunch of tough white guys and tattoos and, and I saw <laughs> like nervous as shit, huh? oh my god I was like well what am I gonna say to make these people laugh as soon as I got up there they laughed they right. loved it once you enjoyed went into it me. and got comfortable oh, yeah. oh yes mm -hmm. doesn't matter long as you're especially if your jokes are universal it oh, can yeah. kill anywhere oh yeah but oh, you yeah. know you gotta be universal sometimes because some crowds will be scary to some comics out there yeah because they're yes. those comics are pigeonholed and yes. they're going to come out talking about weed, roaches, and the projects. <laughs> and everybody <laughs> don't know about project. weed, roaches, and the projects. Not a Facts. lot of people. Because you can do corporate gigs. You got to do those. Yeah. You and do I remember those. doing a corporate yeah. gig. Clean. Yep. You got to be clean and you have to for... have universal jokes. Who was it? Guy Tour. I remember doing this show. And no one had any drink or anything. We was in an auditorium. And I oh, MC yeah. for him at the spot in, in, in um, Illyri, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Illyria. Illyria. Did I say it wrong? Oh, shoot. Are you from Illyria. Ohio? Because it's a damn shame to mess up a, a, a city and, and you're from I know, here. I know, right? I, Illyria. That's it. Oh, my God. I feel so bad. It's like a I Canadian saying, school, Juana Panega right. or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? He said, Illyria. Aren't you Canadian? <laughs> it's Illyria. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is. He knows. He I'm does. always teaching. I'm always teaching. All the time. Which it's is a good it's, thing. It's, you know. I know it's going to come off right if I get it approval from you, though. Oh, Not yeah. to be, you know, on yeah. your tip so bad, no, but I, I, it's I, just I, that, you know, if you got it with Steven and you funny like that, you, you're you good. You're you know you're good. You know you're good. If I say, That's yeah, I keep say. that, <laughs> keep, it. Keep, yeah. it. keep it, keep it, keep it. Now you got to work it. on your thing. I want to answer say that question. Silas, yeah. Oh, yeah Same question. Is there any crowd that scares you? Uh, it was a crowd in Mansfield a few weeks ago that scared me. Uh -oh. It was an old white crowd. Oh. It looked like they was all Trump supporters. Oh, mm -hmm. right. And it was this guy named Mike Meadow. Shout out to Mike for inviting <laughs> me to you. the show because he had me in the sundown town before. So I was scared. So I'm thinking I'm almost in the same type of situation. Uh -huh. I'm thinking like, man, I'm probably just going to do five minutes. I ended up doing like 15. I had a, a very good set. So much that this lady tried to holler at me in front of her husband. Oh, well, that's going to happen. So yeah. I that's was gonna just, happen. That's gonna happen. And so, you're easy on the eyes. I hate to interrupt. Oh, easy on the eyes. You got nice light happen, eyes. Bro. It's gonna happen. I had some regardless. swingers come up to me like, Yo, you I, think, I think they were. Hey, swingers, you can't bro. see what Ray was. Because the husband eyes. was like right next right to me, oh. and she was all in my face. Like, look, oh. I'm warm and squishy. I was like, okay, baby. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. I'm married. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, I just talked about my wife for like 15 minutes. Right? They don't care. Right? Yeah. 
It's terrible. Yeah, it, it, it is. It, it, it's it's terrible. It happens. It's terrible. Do y'all get I, nervous I, when y'all get on stage? I'm nervous almost mm, every that's time. That's natural. Not more. Not really? more. New jokes Not make more. me nervous. If I got a new bit yeah, coming up, yeah. I'm like, oh, how about I deliver and do this? But I'm seasoned, man. Yeah, I'm, Steve is nervousness. I just get like a little anxiety, like yeah, not like how I used and to. And as soon as you let one out and you hear the laugh, it's over. Right, mm-hmm. right. That's yeah. exactly how it is. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you let one go, that first one is like and that right, laughter. Boom! You yeah. settle in and wop, you're yeah. gone. It's like football. That first hit, yeah. you might be nervous a little bit before the game. That game starts, you get that first hit, you all the butterflies go. are gone. Yeah. Boxing, yeah. same way. Butterflies gone. Soon to do. You okay, nigga? Yeah, we fighting now, aren't we? We are fighting. It's on now, you know. So yeah, it's mm-hmm. that, that. That's as real as it gets. That's a good scenario to have you put that because that's how I look at comedy. When I do like open mics or or a bar or something, you know, that's rough. That's scrimmage night. Do all the new stuff mm-hmm. here. Oh, if yeah. they, they laughing, I'm like, oh, okay. So in the I'm a going, kill all the at the stuff. comedy club. Yeah, at the comedy club, I'll the murder. theaters and stuff. Yeah. Thousand people laugh because you made fifteen people laugh mm-hmm. with it. You go, it's easier. Mm-hmm. It's game night. Scrimmage is your, you know, trying it out and doing this, and then the theater and all that kind of thing. That's more of your your game night. You That's should professional have night. it already. Yeah, yeah, have it together. How many people was at the theater? How many people were you? Oh, I did a, a one at uh, it was called C.J. Walker Theater. It's in uh, Madam in C.J. Indiana. Walker. Yeah, did I mess that up too? It's Madam <laughs> C.J. Walker. <laughs> I know with the private school still can't get it right. right? Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute, I think you, you with me? Uh, oh, wait was a minute. I there? Was I hosting? Oh, because no, B flat was. I had B flat was hosting. And then I, I hosted for like six months. How many I people? I did that because I heard theaters is different. No, it's it a is small theater, a little... but it's a it you seats about see. two or three thousand. About That's two thousand. That's a lot, though. That's a lot of people. But That's the laughs are loud. That's what I hear. They say you gotta really slow down. You do. Let them laugh. Let them laugh. And you just wait. Because don't talk over the laughs. Yeah. I learned that from Steven, mm-hmm. too. Steven, just, don't step on your laughs. Yeah. You, just step st- you want to get the like, joke out. gracious. Mm-hmm. They're yes. not going to hear what you say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's t- he tells me a lot of stuff. I just write down now. Yeah. When you I find it. the notebooks. I, that I, when you find the notebooks. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I keep it this one. This was my Have one. them all over the place. Yeah, I know. I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to say. Uh, I was about <laughs> to ask this, too. Uh, but, um. Do you have any content on the internet, Yvette, or do you not go that route? Do I have any content? The only thing I have is some shows. I, one I did in Las Vegas and one at the Funny Bone. I have some stuff on YouTube. Okay. But so that's you, it. But that's it. What about yes. you, Silas? Do you have that's do you all. do um, little skits and I do stuff skits like that? all the time. I do, do skits. Uh, I put pieces of my sets out. Yeah. I, I've dabbled in a lot of that. Sometimes skits are basically material. Right, they mm-hmm. are. They yeah, are. You're just writing it in a That's different good. way, but yeah, it's, they, still, it's still material. Certainly be used on stage. Yeah, yeah, it could certainly be. They could certainly be used on stage. That is so true. Oh, yeah. Um, when playing a packed audience, do you automatically talk louder, Silas? My when, voice is louder anyway when I'm animated. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it's have to do it. You yeah. don't have to do it. I don't really have to do it. Yeah. What about you, Yvette? No, I keep the microphone real close and keep it on my chin mm-hmm. and so when move it, with it. When it moves, mm-hmm. when you move, um, it moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing, too. People That's don't know the, how to hold the mic. They, they don't. don't. That's another part of being a professional. You know, and and a, a a manager, a booker, an agent, they can see that right away. As soon as you get up there, they're like, ah, oh, they're green. Mm-hmm. They're yep. novice as hell. Look at he's holding the mic. Mm-hmm. Like Mike's, a rapper. Mike's stand mm-hmm. right in front right. of him. Don't even move yeah, the mic, move the mic out, the way. out the way or nothing. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'll do this. I would leave the mic all the way hooked up, and I would take the mic stand and move it out the way, then grab right. the mic off. Hmm. And people would be like, that was so professional, the way you did <laughs> that. Mm-hmm. The way you grabbed the whole mic, like you wasn't going to use it at all. And then just pull it and right off after. Grab right. a mic, like all right. That's dope. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, this is professional it's a stuff. I'm sitting there learning. It's yeah. Professional Seriously stuff. Well, they'll be looking at you like, oh yeah, he's been doing this for a long time. The management mm-hmm. or whatever. Now watch me practice and then fumble and drop the and, mic. And the mic come out and drop up <laughs> off of there. Hey, man, look at this amateur, right? <laughs> ah. The mic came out on D'Amico at the Cincinnati oh, Funny Bowl. <laughs> oh my God, Cincinnati <laughs> Funny Bowl. <laughs> And you know oh, how the, the, the cord plugged up? 
Uh, and because it's, it's plugged in the floor, so he steps on it and it comes out. Hilarious. Right. And the engineer he had to come nervous. and put it back in because he couldn't do it. Now the whole crowd is like, "What?" Hilarious. It was uh, a bad night. That's bad like, night. Uh, uh, Domingo knows it. It was a bad night that yeah, night. He was, was like, and then he had to follow me because Gary Gary Owen nervous. was like, uh, "No, no, it's okay." Stephen go, then you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. He should have said no to that. Right. Yeah, but right. Domingo's like, all right, fuck it. All right. He's like, I got to do it sometime. I got to do it sometime. And that wasn't the night to do it. No. <laughs> and I mean, uh, Trina was there and uh, Kenyon Martin and Ruben Patterson oh, and wow. half of the Bengals team, half mm-hmm. of uh, uh, Cincinnati That's Bearcats it. basketball team that had gone on the pro. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a star-studded mm-hmm. audience. It was not the time to Damn. do no shit like that. I and I blew Mike came out. the place. He ain't had no joke for that? Part. No, he didn't. He, he just was, stood I there. He was nervous. He just stood there. He was a little nervous. I just blew the place apart. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he knew he had to follow that. Yeah. He should have just went. For, I mean, but you know, you just he went to try it out and he got the result. And Gary was but. like shaking, shaking his head when I came <laughs> out. He was like, oh, God, what did I just Gary do? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Now you know. Now you know. Like, I'm too strong for the now. You can't do that. You can't do that. Somebody going to, man, you, can't do that. I mean, I had, uh, what was my man's name? Warwick Dunn. And that, not Warwick mm-hmm. Dunn, but uh, Peter Warwick. Peter, yeah. Peter yeah. Warwick. He was there, had so much jury on. I was like, God, no, oh, he could, this is a good place for a stick up. For <laughs> real. Like, I could have stuck his pistol on, oh, on Peter Warwick. Good place. For real. Hey, like, yo, goodness crazy. gracious, this dude had on some jury. <laughs> you hear me? I mean, big fat diamonds, about four chains of them. I, I said, oh, man, that, that's, that'll put me on right there. <laughs> that'll put me on right there. <laughs> oh, my God. I could get you the Chris Rock $100,000 teeth in my mouth, the ivory <laughs> teeth. <laughs> Chris, Chris Rock gave me 10000 to get my teeth done. I went to his dentist. He said it cost 100000 I said, you got to be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> okay, let me take this oh ten back God. on home. <laughs> <laughs> that was a come up, though. <laughs> That is funny. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. The things I've mm-hmm. done, man. Ah. <laughs>